Five years and 21 days ago, Kamala Harris stood before a cheering crowd at Manuel High School in Denver. A bit smaller than what she's going to see here at the DNC in Chicago tomorrow night. Harris was fresh off the second debate in the 2020 Democratic presidential primary, had a lot of momentum, but within four months her campaign had fizzled and it was over. Yet some of the key women in Colorado behind that first campaign say that they see that campaign, now this one, as steps in a long journey. August 2nd, 2019, Manual High School, right? You all were there. On day one, we're going to repeal that tax bill that benefits the top 1%. It was so amazing to see this phenomenal woman standing in Manual High School in the heart of my district, you know, speaking to a diverse crowd of folks, but specifically young people, you know. I did have my daughters with me. My parents were there. My grandmother was there. It was amazing to see her there and just to have that kind of electricity happening everywhere. It was a big deal. What did you see in Kamala Harris then that you hope that Americans see now? I don't use the word young, but as a young black woman, as a young biracial woman, uh, that was spectacular to me to see somebody that accomplished step up and say, we're going all the way with this. And I got to say, there has been a shift in the way that the campaign was last time and this time in that um, she almost kind of stripped down from that. I have to be someone else or I have to m mimic this male white leadership style in order to be accepted. And it's not about necessarily code switching, right? It's just about you are told you show up in a room like this and you've been told this way for all of your life. And now she's showing up with so much authenticity, it has translated into joy. She has set aside or abandoned a lot of the progressive positions that she had in 2019, 2020, when you, when you support her and Medicaid for all, fracking ban, mandatory buyback for assault weapons, no longer supports decriminalizing border crossings. What do you make of those shifts? Do any of them bother you? I mean, I'm still seeing her being, you know, very progressive. I mean, when yeah. we talk about yeah. her fighting for working families, mm -hmm. um, we see unions standing beside her. And, you know, the, the mantra, right, when we fight, we win. Like, that is labor. That is mm -hmm. our working families. Mm -hmm. And so I, I don't necessarily mm -hmm. see her backing down from those types of values. Her, her policies and the, what she stands for has evolved because she is someone who learns and grows and evolves, right, and listens. And has seen I a much what? and has seen a much larger picture, a, a, world, a, world, a, a worldwide picture, yeah. which I would hope that you would evolve, right? Yeah. Because we have seen every woman who has ever run for higher office be judged by the work that they did working for a man in that higher office. <laughs> because we've never seen a Clinton administration, we've never seen a Harris administration, we've never seen a Shirley Chisholm administration. Hmm. So we don't even know what a, a woman is going to do in this position. And back to your first point, all the little girls that, that were there yep. at, on that all first, you know, at that event at Manual. You know, um, the honest truth about why so many of us do this work, right, is because, uh, or what keeps us doing the work, is that we're inspired every day by these little girls that, that like you can see it when it clicks in their mind and it, sh it sparkles through their eyes about, wow, I could do that. Women can do that. Not even you know? little girls, 22 year old girls. Yes, that's or true. Or women, 23 year old 30 women. 30 year old, 30 year old. 40 year old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Saying like, wow, this is where I can be, you yeah. know? And the sky's the limit, you know? And my favorite quote from her that she told me was, she said, when you break glass ceilings, you get cut. Yep. Mm -hmm. Break them anyways. Break them anyway. Our thanks to Democratic State Representative Leslie Herod of Denver, Denver City Councilwoman Serena Gonzalez-Gutierrez, and CU Regent Wanda James.